And as you know, on Windows, you go on the upper right here, and that's how you get your search bar. Go to search, and then type in computer. Um, on the Windows 10, instead of computer, they actually put PC. So type PC on Windows 10. And then we'll click. What we'll do on here, you right click on computer, and then you go down here and you left click properties. Okay, and this will tell you if your Windows is uh, activated or not. As you can hear, see here, I just activated. Uh, of course, if it's not, it'll tell you Windows is not activated. You know, you need to activate it. And then it'll give you a little button where you can buy Windows or you can enter in the correct product key. And so that's the next question is, do you have the product key? And as I show you that, um, you probably got here because you may have retrieved a computer where someone activate or installed Windows 8 or 10 for you and they didn't um, activate it which is still not a problem with this um, or you have 10 so what you're going to do is you're going to download a little software which is not owned by me it's free and as you can see on here I got it on the tens form which is a very reputable website and um, you want to download show key plus it takes literally like a second to do it's free and what you're going to see when you download it the good thing about it is is it's going to show you the uh, product key and it's going to show you the addition so for example this is Windows 8.1 RTM which is the older versions and um, and this is going to be your product key it's going to be a five set of, set of letters and numbers and it's going to, and you want to look for the OEM which means original equipment manufacturer that's your official license that you paid for when you bought the computer and um, that software has two parts it has this but also you can put any key in there uh, if you have access to it um, you can put any key in there from any uh, any windows and it'll tell you what version it is you know if it's home premium or RTO or ultimate or whatever and so to download it what I'll do is I'll it's called show key plus I'll give you this link to Windows 10 um, where you can read the form and then I'll send I'll post the direct link in the description so if I click on it it's a very quick download as you can see we'll go ahead and click OK and it went up here I got Firefox right now I'm running and only thing you do is just click it show key plus and then extract it and extract and that's where you want to get to show key plus All right, this is it. So I'll block out my particular OEM key, but this is mine that goes to this computer. Okay, and then this is Windows 8. Now, what you're going to do is you want to copy this uh, key down. You can write it down. I recommend if you have a smartphone or a camera, just take a picture of it. Okay, when you when you activate it, um, and hopefully you got the right version of Windows in it. But um, you can get like a hard disk. Uh, which would be like a DVD. I know like eBay sells them uh, and uh, where it's universal with all window, uh, versions of Windows 8 and Windows 10 and they're literally you can get them for like 10 bucks and you could use it on multiple computers. Um, it's not it's not uh, fraudulent because your key is what you're actually paying for that went with your your laptop. So as long as you were putting the original key with that particular laptop and that motherboard and that system then it's all legit. Um, so, and then if you also, too, if you click here where it says check product key, this is where you can put any key from any computer. It'll tell you what version it is. All right, so once once you do have the, um, the key, you copied it or you took a picture of it, right? What you want to do is you want to go back to the upper right for Windows 8. Windows 10 would be a little bit different. You would just go in the search on the bottom left on 10 and click on um, uh, PC we'll type in PC in the search and then right click properties so we'll go back there computer and then we'll right click computer and then we'll go down here and click properties left click and then on here it's gonna be very easy to do you just gonna go down here you wanna click activate my windows and you have to be online. You have to either be Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection. You have to be connected online so it'll get to Windows. 
or to Microsoft rather, and then you enter in that key, and it should it should activate it, um, because that will be the key that goes to your original uh, motherboard. Okay, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed.